What is up, y'all? Within today's video, we're going to be talking about Jeffree Star because he is getting called out for lying on a makeup review or a makeup hack. And obviously, that does sound very vague, but I will explain within today's video because it does depend upon how you look at it. Either he was lying on the makeup review or he's lying on the makeup hack. We don't really know which one. And I will thoroughly explain within today's video. I will be playing some TikToks too. But an influencer by the name of Dub Paris did call this out. So I'm going to be playing both of his TikToks within today's video. Before we jump into that, though, I do have to give you guys a little bit of context because this does have to do with Glamzilla. If you guys did not see my past video about Glamzilla to where I was testing out her red lipstick hack with the On Till Dawn setting spray, let me go ahead and explain that just a little bit for you guys. So basically she made this viral TikTok to where she was using a Makeup by Mario red tube lipstick and she sprayed on a whole bunch of the On Till Dawn setting spray to make that lipstick transfer proof while other people were trying it out and saying, okay, this is not working, but somehow it did work for Glamzilla. So a lot of people were calling her a liar. Now I do want to say this. It really depends upon like how much product you got off of your lip and how much spray you put on. If you guys watched my video, I did try out the hack. It did not work for me. And I sprayed on a shitload of this spray and it did not work for me. Um, by the way, I highly don't recommend don't spray this in your nose and mouth. Like this has so many chemicals in it that is not meant for your like nose and your mouth. So don't try that. But I obviously tried it just for the experiment. It didn't work for me. However, Glamzilla did comment back to this influencer that was calling her a liar saying you can use any red lipstick. That is not true. I used it and I tried actually two other ones now because I was like, what's really going on here? Like, what's the whole purpose of this? Because nonetheless, I really do feel like this setting spray is really good. So I don't see the purpose in lying on it. Do you know what I mean? Because it is a really good one. And on top of that, too, I do have to say, when it comes down to a red lipstick, there's so much pigment in there. It's so bright, obviously. And then lipsticks tend to be a little bit more creamy than, say, for example, like a powder or, say, for example, a foundation that's meant to, like, dry down and things like that. So, obviously, there may be some transfer with that. I did drop the ball, though, and I did forget to mention within my Glamzilla video that I wanted to note in there, and I was watching it back, like, why didn't I note? Most red liquid lipsticks are transfer proof anyways. Of course, if they're labeled as satin, then they're probably not going to be transfer proof. But most liquid lipsticks that are labeled as matte are transfer proof. So I just want to already go ahead and throw that out there that duh, obviously it's going to work with that because the lipsticks pretty much on their own are almost transfer proof. Do you know what I mean? Well, this leads into Jeffree Star because Jeffree Star was getting tagged into Glamzilla's video saying you have to try this hack. You have to try this hack. Well, he tried the hack and he said that it works. He was like, can everyone on the internet shut up now? However, he messed up and he dropped the ball here because this liquid lipstick that he decided to use within his video, he actually did a review of, and it's a, lip a lipstick that claims to be transfer proof. And within his first TikTok that he did of this back in February, he said that this is completely transfer proof. I'm going to play both of the TikToks within today's video so that way you guys can see for yourself. And I'm like, okay, so either he was lying on that review or he's lying about the hack, one or the other. It really depends upon how you look at it. But I'm like, either which way, y'all, I am so sorry. But if this hack is really meant to work, people would try it with a cream lipstick. And Glamzilla did say in the beginning that she did use a Makeup by Mario um, lipstick, a regular tube lipstick lipstick. So I'm just so curious about this, y'all. And I really wonder what you guys think about Jeffree Star and his whole gain in this. Do you guys think that maybe he just forgot? Also, I do want to point this out before we even get into the video. I probably will repeat myself with this too. Jeffree Star, when he did put on the liquid lipstick, he did do the blot right away. He didn't give it like you guys know a normal liquid lipstick. You have to let it like sit for like two minutes to let it dry. He didn't let it sit for like two minutes to let it dry. So that's why I'm kind of thinking too. Maybe he showed like, oh, look, yeah, it does transfer. But really, it doesn't transfer. He showed that within his original review of that liquid lipstick. So I'm so curious to know what your guys' take is about this. I'm going to be playing Jeffree Star's TikToks within today's video. Shout out to the influencer by the name of Duh Paris because she's the one that pointed this out and it like happened to like pop up on my for you page and i was like oh my god she's so right so many people in her comments were not getting it either they were like okay what does this mean it's like what do you mean what does this mean he did a review of saying that this product is not transfer proof but then he went and did the makeup hack and showed that it transferred and then sprayed on the spray and says oh yeah look the spray really does make it transfer proof so it's like you're lying in one of them do you know what i mean and that's just kind of the truth here just keeping it real so we're going to be talking about that within today's video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up also if you guys have not seen like I know I haven't really been like shouting it out too much within my videos I have been uh, like posting weekly like two times weekly on my travel accounts like a whole bunch of different like food reviews little like travel vlogs like things like that if you guys are interested in that I'll go ahead and leave my TikTok down below I post them on TikTok first and then I post them on my um, YouTube short so if you guys are interested in that also don't forget we upload new podcasts every single Wednesday make sure you guys check that out and let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing that I want to show you guys is Jeffree Star's original TikTok review of the brand new Dolce 
Dolce & Gabbana no transfer liquid lipsticks. He'll show you guys within that TikTok that they don't transfer. This is where people are like, okay, so are you lying in this video? Or are you lying about the hack? Which one? Also, I do want to note too, like sometimes it's like difficult for me because sometimes when I sit down to like make videos, I just sit here and I shoot the shit and don't really think about things. And then I'll think about things after. Another point that I specifically wanted to make is that Glamzilla originally did her hack with the On Tell Dawn setting spray and a Makeup by Mario lipstick. So when she got called out for the hack not working, how come she didn't use that original lipstick without any cuts? Because her whole thing was, I'm not going to do any cuts on this video so that way you guys can see that it really does work. But then she obviously used a Fenty liquid lipstick. So that's where I'm just really curious about this whole entire thing too. And then also... Maybe I'm just playing a little bit of devil's advocate here. Maybe I'm being a little bit shady. You guys can let me know. But do you guys feel that Jeffree Star is over here trying to get in the good graces of like all the popular TikTok influencers? As you guys know, before he did say that he wanted Michaela on his channel, he's reached out to her before. They've talked in the DMs, but she obviously doesn't want to associate with him publicly because she knows that'll bring scrutiny to her and probably like get her canceled. Do you know what I mean? But now I'm wondering if he's trying to befriend Glamzilla because now it kind of seems like he's like lying on her behalf. Do you know what I mean? Also, do you think that maybe he just forgot that this lipstick is completely no transfer? Any which way, I do want to show you guys the very first review of this lipstick, so go ahead and check it out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? Okay. What is on the chopping block today? Oh, baby. I got a $42 liquid lipstick, and it's by Dolce & Gabbana. We have four shades. Let's look. Let's swatch. Let's cry. I know. I'm not kidding. We're gonna see what this looks like. Dolce & Gabbana has a new product out. It is the No Transfer Liquid Lipstick, made in Italy by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, okay, what does it look like? Dolce & Gabbana, another fashion house. Oh, okay. So here's a close up of the product. This is the Devotion Liquid Lip. It's supposed to have a precise applicator. Let's see if that's a lie. Oh. That's different. Okay, this is supposed to be infused with avocado. It's supposed to remain soft and lightweight and make sure my lips are nourished throughout the day. Baby, let's get to swatching. Okay, this is in shade Orgogola. The names are very interesting. I'm just gonna, so that was one dunk. Let's give it a swirl. We're not even gonna cut. Let's go right into it. Oh. Ah. Oh, she has pigment. Oh! Okay, this is one dunk, y'all. We haven't even put in the liquid lip applicator again. This is just one dunk, no lip liner. Okay, this is literally one dunk of product. Okay, let's let it dry and see if it's really transfer proof. Okay, it's been two minutes. Let's take some clean fingers. Mwah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing. Let's take the mirror. She's a little dirty. Nothing! So there he is showing you that that exact lipstick is transfer proof. This is where people are like, okay, you're either lying on this review or you're lying on the makeup pack. Which one is it? And I'm just so curious about this. Like, do you guys think that he forgot that he did this review that this is out there? Do you know what I mean? Or did he think that people weren't going to check up on this lipstick to like know that it's like, hello, it's transfer proof. That's the whole claim of this liquid lipstick is that it is transfer proof. So therefore this hack of using the Ontel Dawn setting spray wouldn't really matter. But go ahead and check out him doing the hack right here. They're lying to you. It's 3 p.m. in the beauty community and I'm already being called a liar. Oh baby, the girls are fighting again. What the hell is going on with the beauty community today? Okay baby, so Glamzilla girl, what, 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 what's the tea today? <laughs> Okay, now all jokes aside, there is a lipstick hack going around. Miss Glamzilla, she put on a beautiful red liquid lip. She she dabs it. She sets it with the one size waterproof setting spray and it lasts her all day. People are saying she's a liar. Someone tested it out and called her a liar. She then refilmed another video and said I wasn't. Baby, I'm here to settle the score. Don't judge my hair, okay? I slicked it back in the shower. I was in the middle of a meeting and I got so many tags. Jeffrey, try this now. Okay, so we're here. 
we have the setting spray. I grabbed a red lip and I was gonna use my own and then I was like, oh no, 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 no. The girls are gonna say, he's biased. So I dug through my drawers and baby, I found this Dolce Gabbana liquid lip. Let's apply it and do the exact way that they did and let's see who's lying. We're gonna go in with this liquid lip. This is the Dolce Gabbana liquid lipstick. Oh my God. And just like Glamzilla, no cuts, okay? Okay, the lipstick is applied and I just realized, of course I could cut because I'm like most everyone else, I'm not a liar. Take the paper towel, right? Okay, so there it is, there's the dab. She then takes the one size setting spray and she goes ham. <coughs> okay, here's the true testament. It worked. Can we all shut the fuck up now? If you guys noticed within that video right there, he did kind of blot right away. He didn't really let the lipstick dry. So this is where I'm just a little bit curious. Like, did he lie about the original review? Did he lie about the hack? Either which way, y'all, I'm just keeping it real. He lied about one, you know what I mean? Because maybe within his original review, he let the lipstick dry down for a while because anybody who uses a liquid lipstick knows that you have to let it dry down, especially Jeffree Star. Like he creates liquid lipsticks and he creates really good liquid lipsticks. So that's why I'm just kind of like, okay, come on, you know that you have to let it dry. So why are you blotting right away to show that it transfers? And then obviously with that amount of time in between of him doing the blot and then spraying on the spray and then drying it, it obviously dried down. So then it's not going to transfer. Do you know what I mean? Either which way, y'all, I'm so curious to know what you guys have to think about this. I really do want to know, do you guys feel like he's trying to, like, get on Glamzilla's good side? And I'm not, look, okay, because I know you guys are going to be like, he has way more followers than her, he's way more popular than her. Yes, I totally get that, but Glamzilla does bring a different crowd. She obviously does have a different, you know, like, core audience than Jeffree Star does. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, I feel like if Jeffree Star is smart, he would try to collaborate with everybody or be on, you know, everybody's good side. And let's just go ahead and keep it real here, who, in the millions of followers, is Jeffree Star like friends with? Do you know what I mean? So this has me questioning like, okay, are you just over here like low-key kind of like kissing Glamzilla's ass because what's going on here? Or do you feel like it was just like a genuine mistake? I don't know. In my personal opinion, I'm like, okay, clearly you did a review of this. You know that those are called a no transfer lipstick. So it's kind of like, I don't know. But make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.